Hello everyone. If you are dealing with payroll management, financial planning or employee salary records, then making salary sheet is the best option for you. Moreover, salary sheets are primarily used for managing and calculating employee salaries. They document the employee's earnings, benefits, deductions and other financial information for useful auditing purposes, financial reporting and providing employees with detailed breakdown of their salary components. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to make salary sheet in Excel with formula. So the first question occurs, what is a salary sheet? A salary sheet is a report where the net payable amount to an employee is recorded. The basic wage of an employee, extra allowances and deductions are recorded here. And upon these calculations, gross salary and net payable salary are calculated and recorded. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the employee, their basic salary, allowance, gross salary, deduction and net salary here. With the help of all these steps, we'll be making a basic salary sheet in Excel. For this whole tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our very first step, we need to input the employee database and salary structure. And to do that, we already have the name of the employee and basic salary in column B and C. Our target is to create the allowance and the deduction in this case of the column E and F. To do that, at first we'll go for the allowances section. So in the F5 cell, we'll insert the percentage of the house rent. So write down the 50% here. And after that, we'll go for the 5% of the transport cost. And then we'll go for the 15% of the flexible benefit plan. After that, we'll go for the bonus, which is 10%. So that's our allowances. Now, we'll go for the deduction section and insert the values here as well. Provident fund as 10%, 22% of income tax, and last 15% as our insurance. So that's how we have created the employee database and salary structure which we'll use to calculate the gross in our next step. To calculate gross salary, at first we need to create a drop down list of the employee names. So we'll go for the B5 cell and in the data tab we'll go for the data tools where we'll go for the data validation and select it. Now, the data validation dialog box will open on the screen. Here, in the allow section, we can easily select any of these sections, but we'll select the list as we're trying to create a drop down list. Now, as source, we need the name of the employees, which is in the database worksheet. So, we'll select the values of B5 to B14 of the employee names and press OK. After that, you will see that here you have got the drop down list. If you click on it, then you will see that you have got the list of the names here. Select the name of the employee according to your wish. Now you need to find the basic salary of that chosen employee. To do that, we'll use the C5 cell and insert the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function looks for a certain value of the left smoke column and then returns a value of the same row from a column you specify. So in this case, we have four parameters, lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. At first, we are trying to look up the value of the B5 cell. So write down B5 as our lookup value and then we'll go for the table array. The table array is in the database worksheet we'll select the values of B4 to C14 cells and then we'll go for the next section by using the comma. As column index number, we want to get the result for basic salary. That means if the value of B5 is matched within the table array, then it will show the result of which column. The first column is marked as 1 and the second column is marked as 2. 
as we are trying to get the result of the return value of basic salary so select 2 that means the second column as our return value of column index number in the next section we have the lookup range as we are trying to get the exact match so select the exact match of false section now if we click the enter button then here we'll get our perfect result in the c5 cell now if we want to show it as a dollar sign then we'll go for the home tab and here we have got the salary of the currency now you can easily select according to your wish and now you have got the perfect result here in the c5 cell now we'll move on to the allowance section and here in the allowance section we'll go for the c8 cell and insert the value of c5 and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard and use the multiplication sign and inside the bracket we'll move on to the vlookup function in the vlookup function we'll use the value of the leftmost cell and certain area with a specific condition here we have four parameters as lookup value we'll select the b8 cell and in the next section we'll go for the table array which is in the case table database worksheet of e5 to f8 section and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard after that if we move on to our next section then we'll go for the second column as our return value so we'll go for the 2 as our column index number and as we're trying to get the exact match so select false after that we'll go for the bracket here to end the section and click the enter button to get the perfect result in the c8 cell now drag down the formula to get the result for every cell to c8 to c11 after that we want to calculate the gross salary and to do that we'll go for the c13 cell and here we'll use the sum function so we'll write down the sum function to add all the number of a certain range as the first number we'll select our basic salary and now we'll move on to our next section of allowance so we'll select the values of c8 to c11 in this section and after that if we click the enter button then we we'll get our perfect gross salary here in the c13 cell now we want to calculate the deduction also and to do that at first we need to go for the b5 cell here in the new worksheet called calculate deduction but now we want to refer the previous value and to do that at first we'll press the equal sign and now we'll move on to the calculate gross salary worksheet and here we'll select the reference of p5 cell and now press the enter button to get the result here you need to do the same for the c5 cell also press equal sign and refer it to the calculate gross salary and here you'll find the c5 cell here and press the enter button now you've got the perfect result here now you can easily go for the deduction section go for the c8 cell where at first we'll refer the c5 cell and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard now use the multiplication sign and in the keyboard we'll again use the vlookup function to find the certain value of the deductions and in the lookup value at first we want to find the value of b8 and after that we'll move on to the table array section in the table array we need to again go for the database worksheet where we need to find the values of the cells of e11 to f13 then we need to press the f4 in the keyboard to make it permanent and press comma to move on to column index number as we are trying to get the return value from the second column so we'll use 2 as our column index number and after that we want to find the exact match so we'll select the false as our exact match option after that we need to go for the enter button to get the perfect result here now drag down the formula to use it to every cell after that we have got every result for the deduction section but now we want to get the total deduction number and to do that we'll go for the c11 cell and use the sum function to add all the values and to do that at first we'll go for the c8 to c10 cell and press the enter button to get the perfect result here in the c11 cell so that's how we have got the total deduction here In our last step we want to calculate the net salary and to do that at first we'll go for the c5 cell and here we'll use the equal sign 
and now we'll refer it to the calculate gross salary worksheet and we'll select the c5 cell as the basic salary and click the enter button now we have referred it the basic salary we also need the same way to get the gross salary in this worksheet so again use the equal sign and go for the calculate gross salary worksheet and we'll select the c13 as our cell reference and click the enter button after that we need to also refer for the deduction we'll again use the equal sign but now we'll go for the calculate deduction worksheet and we'll select the total deduction of c11 if we click the enter button then we have got the perfect deduction here in the c8 cell to get the net salary now we need to subtract the deduction from the gross salary and to do that we'll go for the c9 cell and now we'll use the c7 cell and subtract the c8 deduction section from it and press the enter button to get the net salary here in the c9 cell so that's how we can easily make a salary worksheet in excel with formula you can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.